guys! So today I'm going to teach you how to do the Daenerys Targaryen Pyre hair tutorial. This is my probably my favorite uh, hairstyle of Daenerys. Um, she's got it in the last episode of season one uh, when she has the pyre pyre thing. So uh, yeah, I'm going to teach you how to do that. I'm really bad at describing. <laughs> That's why I don't really talk during my hair videos and stuff. Um, but I'm going to try to do it now. I've already done a uh, inspired hair tutorial of this one. Uh, so um, I'm not going to describe to you how to do the first part um, because you can just watch my um, old, older video. It's my uh, Denari Sagarin inspired hairstyle. So yeah, just follow me and then um, when I'm done with that part, I'm going to go through how to do the last part. So basically it's just a Dutch braid. Um, if you don't know how to do a Dutch braid, just watch my previous video uh, on how to do it. Uh, if you already know how to make a Dutch braid, that's great. And then just leave some baby hairs down, like Danny has. And uh, start braiding. For this Dutch braid you're just going to grab sections from the top and not from the bottom. So I'm not grabbing a piece here. And I'm only grabbing a piece from the top of my head and added it, adding it to the section of hair. Make sure to keep this braid close to your head as you braid. And then when you kind of go to the back, just braid a bit more. And then secure it with the hair tie and we're going to do exactly the same thing on the other side of your head. Okay, so now that you're done with both braids, you're just going to grab them, remove the hair tie, and uh, you're going to pull this, pull two pieces from each, one piece from each side, and pull them together, and then the other two strands just going to get together like this and like this and you're just going to braid them like a normal braid Um, I don't have a 
transparent hair tie. I've lost all of them, so I'm just going to untie with a black hair tie. Like so. And then you can tug at them to make them a bit fuller. So, and now we're going to move on to the bottom part. This is going to be like a uh, normal Dutch braid. You're going to add sections from both top and bottom. So grab a section of hair and make three strands and start with a Dutch braid going under the middle strand. Now we're going to grab sections like so, like a normal Dutch braid. Secure it with the hair tie like that, and then you're going to do exactly the same thing on the other side, except we're going to leave a very small strand that we're going to use last. So I'm going to leave this strand down, put it over to the other side, save it for later, and I'm doing the same. Dutch braid on this side. going to pull these to make them fuller. So now what you're going to do for the last part is you're going to put these, pull these out and then put them together as one braid. And then you're going to use this section and we're going to take your finger into the braid, into one braid and grab this little section with your fingers and pull it out of the braid. Like that. And now we're taking this side and pull it through. So we're basically tying the braids together.
tie it onto the braids. And uh, yeah, there you go. So yeah, that's it. Uh, I hope it wasn't too hard understanding. I couldn't see anything of what I was doing. Uh, so I hope that everything was in focus uh, and uh, you could actually see what I was doing. Um, but yeah, if you have a transparent hair tie, that would be a lot better so you wouldn't notice this part. You could also use extensions. Uh, I, I used to use extensions to my bottom part here to make the braid longer, um, but uh, I don't have them right now because I have two homes uh, and that's why I don't have any transparent hair ties either. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope that it turned out good. It turned out kind of, I don't know, weird down here uh, because my hair isn't it's almost long enough to do this hairstyle uh, because my hair is really layered and uh, it doesn't really work out so well with layered hair for these hairstyles. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that and uh, comment down below if you have any suggestions uh, on videos that you want me to make. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, I have my Instagram in the description box below if you want to check that out because I post pictures all the time. Yeah, that's it for today. Bye!